Hello everyone, welcome to Redshift Tech. Myself Karthik Kondosamy. Today we are going to learn about what are different types of tools we have to achieve version control system, and also we are going to see why do we need to learn Git. Okay, what are the real benefits we are going to get if you use Git in your project? Without any further delay, let's get started. First, we are going to learn about what are different tools we have in the market to achieve version control system. In our previous videos, we have learned about what is version control system, what are the real time benefits we are going to get out of a version control system, and even we have seen different types of version control system. Now, since we know that Git is one of the tool, we can use it to achieve distributed version control system. So there is uh, is always best in the market, which we can use it as for achieving. A distributed version control system, and also we have some other products called CVS, SVN, and also IBM's Rational Clearclass. So these are the other products or other tools which are available in the market to achieve version control system. But in our video, we are going to learn about only Git. The reason behind that is Git is one of the most powerful tool and most uh, commonly used and most widely accepted by enterprise applications. And Git is very easy to understand. But it is always the developers are uh, trying to understand how it internally works. It's kind of like you know uh, very tricky in it. But we will get all the things sorted out. Okay, now we will see why do we need to learn Git. As a developer, I know let's say I am a Java developer. I know how to do Java coding. I if let's say if I am a .NET developer, I know how to do Java uh, .NET coding, right? But what is Git, or why do we need to learn Git, right? So Git actually tracks all the changes whatever you are making in your programming. Let's say you are making a number of changes in your real-time application, and Git will track all the changes whatever you do in your file. So end of the day, you will have a record of what has been done so far. Let's say you are making a bigger feature of uh, application. Let's say you are adding some new feature to an application, and you are making every day let's say ten files. Okay, you are almost working for six months. So end of the day, by end of six months, you will get to know what changes you made and what date and what was the changes actually for. So this kind of tracks you will get if you use Git, and in order to use Git, you have to learn Git how it works, right? And then easy to revert to specific version. Let's say as I said, if you work for six months for some reason, if you want to go back to some previous version, you can able to go back, which is very easier if you use Git. Also, it makes your life easy with respect to collaboration because right now the world is very going very fast with respect to rapid development, and it is very very important to have collaboration in place. In order to make the collaboration within the developers team, then it is Git is going to helpful how to make your code development uh, efforts uh, collaboratively. Also, multiple people making the changes, right? Let's say the developer one, developer two, everyone is making their changes, and end of the day, all the changes or all their code, what are the fixes or the new code, whatever they do, has to be merged into one single source code. So that one single source code is nothing but what is going to be deployed in the application. Right, so it will enable you to work concurrently on multiple source codes, and end of the day, you are going to merge into one single source code, and that is ready for deployment. And also, let's say it is very common if you make some mistake when you do some development, right? And if you want to roll back your mistake, then it is always possible with help with the help of Git. Okay. Also, revision made easy. Let's say if you make some revisions, right? Like it is very easy to understand what revision you made. It. Also, whenever you make some change to your code. That is a base reference, right? And on top of it, you will take a copy of it, and you will make a branching strategy. You will learn it, and then you will make a change. If you, that change that doesn't works for you, then you can always go back to your previous base version, and you can start work on it. So this is very very flexible, and Git is one of the most powerful tool. As I am telling again, and if you know how to use Git, so you will be master in Git, and you will become a, a separate uh, way of handling the programming strategy whenever you have something called. Uh, working in multiple teams or uh, the same team with multiple people, so Git is one of the most powerful to, to use it. So it is very very important to learn Git because if you if you guys don't know how to use Git, you cannot uh, get all these features, right? So now I will give you a simple example. Let's say uh, you have some code here, okay? This this box is a code, and let's say you are taking that code as a copy of it and you work on it, okay? All these rounds are nothing but some changes, okay? There is let's say there is a base version of your applications there. And we call it as a branches called master. And from here, you are taking a copy of it, and you are making some three changes. Okay. Meanwhile, some other 
our team member has made some change to this one there are two changes already there and there is another person who is actually taking the code from here with these three changes and he is making his change and he is actually pushing out it here and you are making your change these three changes from here and you are again merging here so at the end of the day if your work and someone else works are not going to be uh, directly dependent but whenever you take a code and you are making your change and whenever you merge your code to your actual base version then you will get some merging conflicts that you are going to resolve it how you are going to resolve the magic conflicts